From the start of his campaigns, Bobby Wine has exposed the police by the hope of cameras, where are recorded video footages which shows the men in uniform on so many occasions violating the people's rights, hence leading to the exposure of the police acts to the international law. We have tasked them to take charge or resign. That is why many international communities and institutions have raised up their voice for this violation of people's rights in Uganda. The accuser security forces of targeting his campaign, detaining, beating and killing his supporters. On Tuesday, Wine's friend and music producer Daniel Oyerot, known as Dan Magic, was reportedly hit in the face by a rubber bullet. Today they attacked us, shot various people in the legs, and producer Dan Magic, who was right next to me, had his face shattered and teeth removed. We've asked them to prevail over the police and the military, tell them to keep out of this election, especially the military. President Museveni said 54 people were killed last month as police and the military quelled riots that erupted after Wine was arrested for alleged violation of lockdown rules. Many in Uganda now fear the violence will only escalate ahead of the January 14 poll. You cannot kill all of us.